Okay, welcome to the next video, video number two. So bear with me. Um, I'm gonna have to review the actual images of the ticket rather than going in and getting recording, video recording of the actual models themselves. Just because it takes me quite a bit of time to make these videos in general. So just, 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 just hold on just a little bit. So if I had more time, I'd be making these videos a way higher quality, of course. Man, I really need to get a mic arm. <laughs> This is a video format where I'm going to be reviewing the scratch tickets that get launched bi-weekly from Fantasy Star Online 2. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and this is going to be my attempt at it. It will probably suck the first time I do it, which is right now, but I'm going to give it a try anyways because uh, I want to do it. So my first ever ticket review is going to be of... Uh Aerial Defenders. Cast parts the battle outfits inspired by special area, blah, 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 blah. Basically, is a good ticket. You've got a great selection of male, female clothes and male, female cast part. There are a lot of good pieces in this ticket. It actually makes me want to spend my money on it. We can go over the first couple things. You've got your female clothing here. You have your sort of gothic dress mixed in with uh, a sort of conductor's uniform outfit. These boots are killing it, and overall, this outfit looks pretty good. It's um, you, you've got a lot of a lot of good detail going on here, and I'm sure you've got something here that will represent the color you want as well. Aria celebrity, celebrity. It's, it's I want to say celebrity. Aria Celerity. This outfit is is a mixture between armor and it's got quite a bit of flair on the back with this some kind of uh, tail <clears throat> and it narrows down more at the bottom of the outfit which gives more attention to the middle design middle design of the outfit and you've got more exposure on the shoulders here which is not a bad mixture of uh, appearing somewhat vulnerable and armored up at the same time it's gonna be a good bouncer costume honestly you're going with the Nemain uh, uh, cast parts man this thing is this this female cast set is the tits in my opinion uh, no pun intended you gotta love the mixture of sturdiness and elegance and and um, vulnerability going on all in this one costume design and what's cool is that all of these are all three of these parts are great you have you have these really you have these toy like uh, robot cast arms that I love and I'm extremely jealous that male doesn't have any cast arm like this I want fucking cast arms like I want a male cast that is like this like robot parts what the fuck Sega come on these things are so damn cool you have the exposed thigh right here and then you have this sort of mecha castle structure uh you have the aria rapid for the male costumes uh this is a good metal armor set for a male sturdy and elegant at the same time and then you kind of have the second star of the the show when it comes to this ticket is the uh male cast arm the big bulky chunky boy armor the body part design itself is 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 really neat just because it sort of tightens in the middle and then it accentuates at the uh top and then the bottom of the torso piece of stuff and then you got the big old metal butt flap back here I'm, I'm digging this this is actually very cool and then the arms themselves they almost look the shoulders look like they're thrusters that kind of help hold up and move this very heavy cast a very good compliment to the the other things that are coming out with this ticket and then the legs those shin guards are fucking mwah, chef's kiss along with these sort of like heavy duty fucking tractor machine feet these things are great. This this whole cast armor set is just it's uh, it's good. It's a reason to be. It's a reason to have a cast character. And then you've got your um, your heavyweight animation sets. So this is this is awesome. Um, I can't get enough of this stuff. I also don't like the fact that it's gonna be just destroying my wallet. Um, and then you've got a new sit emote. Which, you know, these things have a ton of mileage on. You can't go wrong with landing on this either if you want to sell it to make money in the marketplace or you want to use it to AFK or screenshots or just hanging out in general. This, These are always good. They're always welcome in these kinds of tickets. You know, you've got another emote for snapping, which is, you know, you can do your Thanos memes. It's probably a very good screenshot emote. And then you've got a uh, helmet to match the area rapid. They go hand in hand together along with the um, reusability for this helmet is pretty flexible as well. You've got three new female hairstyles. What's cool about two of these is that they have the double, is that they have the double color option. So you can choose one color on the inside and one color on the out. I'm loving that. That's, I mean, I don't make female characters, but the things you can do to make it stand out more are very nice. And then you've got the luxurious hair. I personally like this one. It's got a nice mixture of, of having some flair, but also 
looking somewhat athletic. You've got the cataphract head, chunky boy head. This thing is great. Um, if if you notice right at the top of it, it's got a fucking spoiler. And then you have this um, base antenna. This this thing looks like a real piece of equipment. Um, another another great example of uh, new Genesis cast design that seems to be coming out. And then you've got the resting bitch face uh, eyebrows. <laughs> These are definitely eyebrows that show off a more uh, unfriendly. <laughs> face double dream eyelashes i do like these just because they're simple and they're cute and they 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 they're not super flashy but they're just they're just enough to accentuate a uh, feminine detail on your character's face just little i can't can tell is it so the eyes there's this little bit of redness around the eyes maybe it's uh, maybe if you crank that sucker up you'll see more of the effects on that makeup and then you've got these sexy stocking you've got these uh, luxurious stockings which are more for uh, players that like to have sexy characters and push their horny agenda onto all of us along with the ripped fishnet tights these things are actually kind of great because it's like sexy and tough at the same time. These are good. I actually kind of like these. Probably one of the uh, cooler items of the entire ticket, which is the celerity mask. I said that right, right? The celerity gear too. These these helmet pieces are fucking rad. The amount of stuff you could do with these, especially intermixing these parts with previous outfits, with cast parts. This thing is flexible as hell as far as what you want to mix and match it with and will go a very long way if you can grab this but i have a feeling this is going to be really damn expensive over time you got a nice little sailor hat for your luxurious hat this is a nice little decoration this is probably one of the things that players with female characters have, have probably wanted um it's a nice little addition especially to have a, a new genesis version of this tiny little sailor hat uh and then you've got the knee main shirts and wings this is actually a pair of wings that I give a crap about. Look at the, it's got these metal rectangle plating uh, before the thruster wings themselves. This is something that, that really shows that this is a piece of war equipment and it's meant to help defend whoever's flying, protected from some sort of aerial fire. This is a cool set, I really like. We've got the Nime and Escudo. It looks like it can be a secondary addition to the Nime and Shurzen. It's just more more cool, complicated uh, accessories to make it to make it seem like there's more flight gear on your character. And they've got Grand Shield, and the second version of it is like a battle scarred version. You could even turn these into wings. It seems like the flexibility of what you want to do with this is it's pretty open as well and then you've got your classic gundam antennas with the sharp aerials and will complement a lot of people who either have like cast armors on or people who have mechanical aesthetics for their female character it's a it's kind of sleek heavy shoulder armor i do like these especially when you can turn it in a certain way and sort of modify the shape to be on your character's head like a helmet it's kind of a neat idea i suppose and then you've got the clobber gauntlet i personally very very excited that this came to replace the old metal fist uh gauntlets that we got um, this is personally very excited for this. Um, it sucks that we only got One side of the arm. We'll probably get the other arm, you know down the line on another ticket, but I um, I love this kind of stuff I wish they would have more have more extra cast part accessories that you could put on your character um, There's there's potentially a lot you could do with this and then you've got the VTOL floater accessories These are cool. You could modify these in a ways kind of do a lot with them uh, you can flip and rotate them and you can move them around so they either go together or you can uh, what you can do with these VTOL floater accessories is quite a bit and uh, will hopefully make your money's worthwhile. You got the Rosa Gothic accessories. Um, these earrings are nice, especially if you contrast it with all of the futuristic stuff. I do like it. And then last but not least, and then last but not least, you've got the uh, Arachne. You've got the Arachne brooch. Oh, brooch. brooch. Basically a decorative spider you can put on your chest. That is a nice little Halloween item that they've added to the ticket. What do I do? Do I give this a number score review? It's it's a very good ticket. This is this is basically what I would consider to be almost a perfect AC scratch ticket. You've got something for everybody. Cast parts, male and female and outfits. A little bit more focus towards uh, some more masculine content due to the heavyweight motions we got. Yeah, this, this ticket is a winner in my books. And definitely in some ways you could tell that they were meaning to launch this with the bouncer ticket. This ticket along with the SG bouncer ticket that I will be reviewing on my next video will be something to discuss right because these SD tickets are uh, a bit of a stinker right now but uh, this is all I could do for today on this video I am running out of time I'm kind of doing a lot right now in my life I wish I could make 
more videos. Uh, the next video will be the SG Soaring Bouncer ticket, was it five? which is just a collection of the other SG items we've got. I Technically, this only has a couple of items in it that really make it about bouncer stuff. Yeah, I don't fucking understand what this labeling is weird. And then I will be making a video about these special scratch tickets and uh, all of the cool stuff that they're featuring there. Uh, uh, thank you for watching my video if you've made it this far. Uh, this is kind of an experiment. I have been thinking about doing this for a while. I'll be reviewing each ticket along with reviewing cosmetic items in general. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you around next time.